We have a first look at what could be the future of medicine. Robots already roaming through hospitals and allowing doctors to diagnose patients and in some instances make life-saving decisions from miles away much faster when every second counts. We get our report tonight from CNBC's Julia Borstein. To see Edith Long now, you'd never know she recently had a near-death experience. When she suffered a stroke, there was no specialist at the hospital that night to evaluate her. So a robot named RP Vita came to call, connecting a doctor 25 miles away. The next thing I remember is the robot coming into the room and Dr. Lee introducing himself to me. When neurologist Dr. Andrew Lee got the call at home, instead of getting in his car, he powered up his iPad and immediately examined Edith through the robot's monitor. I did notice that she had profound weakness of her left arm and her left leg. He ordered a clot-busting drug within minutes. For every minute that's lost in someone who's suffering a stroke, 1.9 million brain cells could be possibly irreversibly damaged. So, Dr. Lee, if you were to evaluate a stroke patient through this robot, what would you do? To assess for strength and coordination, I would have you raise both arms up as if you're holding a tray. And take your left index finger and touch your nose. So this would allow you to assess a patient without actually being in the room. Absolutely. There are 28 of these RP Vita robots in use so far. Doctors who use the technology say it's a game changer. We are able to actually provide these services to some of the smaller community hospitals. There is a, a large cost savings and the ability to treat many more patients. Thanks to the robot, Edith Long made a full recovery. To be back to normal so fast brings tears to my eyes because uh, I'm back to my normal life. A high-tech house call rebooting medicine. Julia Borston, NBC News, Los Angeles.